Better late than never is what people say, and in this case it's true. Some things are worth the wait. This is the Verizon Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge Plus in gold. Let's see what's in the box. Get to know your phone. Trash. SIM injection tool. Okay. <clears throat> and charge brick with USB cables. And what is this? Headphones? The same headphones that were absent in the Verizon Note 5 box? Damn you, Verizon. No, but this gold is gorgeous. Beautiful. Fly. Honestly, it's dope. I have a Zag front and back protection on it to protect it from scratches. That's why the back isn't as shiny. It feels like holding a piece of art in my hands, to be honest with you. Now, here's what makes the S6 Edge Plus differ from its little brother. Other than size, they now have the app's edge just swiping from the side, and you can choose from five different apps to have at your disposal, a la Note Edge from last year. Another great feature is the theme store. Now, I know a lot of people hate touch words here. I know a lot of people hate touch words, and here's your chance to change the, the appearance of the whole phone. From the keyboard to the settings menu, you can have your S6 Edge Plus and Note 5 looking like a Nexus phone in seconds. There's a ton of free apps uh, or themes and some good paid ones as well. Now here's a size comparison between the S6 Edge Plus and the Note 5 that came out at the same time this year. Okay, you see the top. Now as you can see the S6 Edge and the Note 5, the S6 Edge Plus looks a little bit smaller. Also, both are, have wireless charging, fast charging, um, if you have the Samsung fast charging device. Uh, Samsung Pay, although Verizon the only company that doesn't support it, I've heard a few people have gotten it to work. This advice just shows Samsung is not afraid of taking chances. And in this case, to me, it's definitely paid off. Alright, if you like the video, thumbs up, subscribe.